Hello, everybody. My name is Lupinox, and I will be your narrator today. I'll be taking a look at level 6 of the backrooms, also known as anti-frequency. Level 6 is the most undocumented level up to date. However, we have managed to gather very little but groundbreaking information. Level 6 is a seemingly endless, pitch-black flooded basement with many rusty pipes running along its narrow corridors. The walls seem to be made out of pure stone, as if it had been carved out in the shape as it is today. The level smells of sewage, presumably being what the level has been flooded with. It is assumed to be flooded due to faulty piping, however, this cannot be confirmed. The level's pipes also extend off inside the walls. This seems to be apparent due to the fact that the sewage seems to have eroded the walls to the point where the rebar is exposed and also seems to be rusting away due to old age. Level 6 is claimed to be haunted due to the fact that people may start hearing things at a distance, such as footsteps moving in the flooded floor, audible sighs, and also fingernails scraping the stone walls of the level's pitch black structure. Despite the level being pitch black, using our sense of touch, we were capable of telling that rooms inside level 6 are completely random and may have walls placed near each other, even though they seem to serve no purpose. Stairs and ladders also make common appearances here. However, it is not advised to use them as you can never tell if they are broken down or not and could cause severe injuries. Pits and random sideways pillars in a grid-like pattern can generate in any given room. It is advised that you use your sense of touch to get past these rooms as you are very much likely to fall and potentially perish. Doors also seem to make common appearances here other than ladders and stairs, and they seem to be always open no matter the given circumstances. Tiny drains on the floor can be found by using your sense of touch. However, you will not need to do this, as we only did it, as disgusting as it may sound, for pure documentation purposes. These same drains all appear to be clogged as there seems to be no changes in the water height. The darkness influencing level 6 is theorized to be caused from anti-photons, negative light rendering any light providing source useless. Even though the level has negative light, the shadows don't seem to be inverted, this being the main reason why anti-photons are merely a theory and not a real thing unless proved otherwise. Despite the darkness, low levels of radon also seem to be naturally influencing the level, and is commonly released from the sewage. Long periods of exposure to the sewage can influence your health, however, the levels of radon are too low to actually prove lethal to anybody's life, depending on how long you stay near the sewage. Level 6 was discovered after an exploration of level 5 gone wrong. Some of our researchers went too far down in level 5's dark hallways and ended up in level 6 seamlessly. The only things they could make out was the cold flooded waters of the level, the smell of the sewage, and wet stone, and the distant dripping echoing throughout the entire basement of level 6. Further exploration ever since has never been attempted, and the level was abandoned, not until a few months later in June 18, 1959. The only known entrance to level 6 up to date is through level 5's dark corridors. An exit out of level 6 is incredibly hard to find, however, if you do manage to find a small light source at the end of a hallway, it will seamlessly transport you to level 7. Once you look back, level 6 will still appear as dark as ever, however, it seems that level 6 works as tunnels through level 7 sewers.